Welcome back to Oracle of Ages Cursed, everybody. I'm Colorful Arnie, and we are exploring Zora Village today. Actually, we're gonna go back to the surface and explore the surface of Zora Village. So for starters, we've got ourselves a nice gale. Gale seed tree. And some interesting architecture, like this random pool right here. Which has a chest in it. Also, you might be wondering, hey, not deep water right here? What's the deal about that? Well, we'll find out in a bit. Say, aren't you the pupil of the Master Diver in Holodrum Sunken City? I have a secret I'd like you to tell your to your master. Will you do it? Yes. Don't mix it up. It's that secret. You got that? You bet. I'm counting on you. Well, we can blow this up. And in here, we've got a bunch of... Um, Statues, and I can't tell if they're making like the creepiest face ever or if it's like not a face at all. I don't really know, but we can't do anything with those yet. And hey, look, we're back at the fairy woods. And there's a chest here that we can get. So if we dive down here, King Zora's palace is beyond here. And so it is. Let's go inside. Well, there's no cane here, so that's a bit of a problem. But there is a treasure chest. And we get 200 rupees! That's pure bliss! There is a reason for that. We need a magic potion for this upcoming area. Which I believe we do not have. Okay. So in that case, I'm going to warp back to... Maple's house and grab a potion, so I will see you guys in a bit. And we're back, and I am so glad we've got the Gale Seed Tree right there. So we've explored pretty much all of Zora Village we can right now, so let's just warp back to the past and explore it there. Because there's more stuff to do in the past. And wouldn't you know it, the Gale Seed Tree is still there. Nice of another warp point for the past. So we get some villages. Oh, we also have a gasa. A gasa, yes. No, it's a gasha seed plot right there. Let's explore the village more. We don't get many mermaids visiting us. This is Zora Village. Everyone thinks we're a mermaid just because we're wearing a suit. I want to say one of these houses has a treasure chest in it. Maybe not. I love these underwater graphics, they're beautiful. Oh, I thought you had treasure. No thanks. Don't think us noble sea zoras are the same as those savage, vulgar river zoras. Sea zoras are way cooler and cuter. Hey, what's up here? I want to check it out. Yo. This is Jabu Jabu. He's the fish guardian. The seas are filthy! Cough, cough! I can't swim in peace. Well, that's not good. Yeah, these fiends, those are like... the result of sickness in the sea, I guess? 
King Zora's palace is beyond here. Take care not to be rude. I would never dream of it. That stairway leads to the throne room. The king is ill. If you must see him, make it brief. Get it? See him? The, the pain! This is the end for me. To think the prosperous royal family could fade in a generation. The pain. Give him the magic potion? Yes. Is this magic potion? Hmm, it looks very suspect, but if I'm to die, I can't hurt to drink it. Glug, glug. Ah! Ew, it's awful! But it flows through me! The royal line is saved! Who are you? Well, thank you, Artie. The filthy water that flowed in from the east lately must have made me ill. I will never forget you. What do you wish for, Artie? Huh? A big fish? Do you mean Jabu Jabu? But Jabu Jabu is the guardian of us Zoras! Calling him a fish is an insult! Watch your language! Is that it? Filthy water has been flowing in from the east lately. Perhaps that is what made me ill. And he'll never forget our deeds. Well, that's important to note. Even, like, 400 years later, he won't forget us? If he's still alive by then. He'll tell his descendants of the time that Artie gave him a potion, which cured him of the common cold. Hey, dude! Great healer! What do you ask? You wish to enter Jabu Jabu? My permission is needed to enter Jabu Jabu, but I can't permit just anyone to see our guardian. Anyhow, the filthy seawater has left Jabu Jabu near death. If you say you must, then find a way to get rid of this filthy seawater and save Jabu Jabu. Will you accept this quest? Yes. Very well, then take this, and we get the library key. This is the key to the Eyeglass li Isle Library east of here. It is an ancient library, so I do not know if this key still works. But perhaps you can research why the seawater is so filthy. I trust you to save Jabu Jabu. Yep. Jabu Jabu's got the essence inside him. We gotta save him. Well, Eyeglass li Isle Library is this way. Sure enough, here's Eyeglass Library, except there's no way to enter it. So let's try a different time period. The Era of the Founding Fathers. Four score and seven years ago, we locked this library for no good reason. Let's go inside! Those who have seen a strange beast on the aisle to the west say the beast is always there, never attacks, and just stares as if asking for help. Some even claim it speaks. It's nonsense. Interesting. This is the Eyeglass Isle Library. Fairy powder is said to be stored in the back, but I've yet to see it. The Fairy Queen used to live on the island west of here, but she vanished recently. Surely the Fairy Queen could do something for these seas? Fairy powder is locked away in the back, but without another book of seals, no one can reach the powder. By the way, what is fairy powder? So if we go back here, there's actually no way to get the fairy powder. And the old man is just trapped back there. We've got to do something! Well, there's an island to the west of here that apparently has a talking beast, so why don't we visit them? It's an Octorok, but we can talk to it. Please listen, Yan Wan. You may not believe this, but I am the Queen Fairy, guardian of the sea. The curse of an evil one named Varan has made me appear so. The magic of fairy powder can turn me back to normal. Varan has poisoned the sea. Soon all living fiends in it will perish. Please go find some fairy powder. I will. I like this. I think this is a very interesting subplot with the fairy that's been turned into an Octorok. Hey, dude. This is the Eyeglass Owl Library. Blah, 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 blah. Um, I want to solve it. Oh, we can't. Alright, let's go to the present. And now the library's open! 
open for business. I am studying the cause of the filthy seawater. It seems to have suddenly become polluted hundreds of years ago, but I have learned nothing more. There used to be something in the back for sealing things away, but now there's just with some one old crinkled old book. That was a terrible translation on my part. <laughs> I can already read! The Fairy Queen Who Keeps the Sea Clean! That's my favorite story. Have you heard of fairy powder? Fairy tales say that it c t turned a cursed f queen back into her original shape. They say that fairy powder was kept in back long ago. I don't know if it's true or not, but it sure is romantic. Hey, old guy. This is the Book of Seals. It was once part of a set, but now only this one remains. How they used... How they were used is an eternal puzzle. You say you can solve the riddle of this book? Ho ho! This should be interesting! I give you to you the Book of Seals. And we get the Book of Seals! Some random kid's like, You know, I bet I could find the fairy powder! He's like, Oh, okay, I'll give you this ancient book that's worth millions of dollars. Welcome, this is the Eyeglass Isle Library. Long ago, fairy powder was kept in this very library. However, at some point in the past, someone took it away, and now none remains. How selfish of them. I can't believe somebody would do something like that. Also, I'm totally going to do that. Alright, so we can use the Book of Seals here. It's a podium for holding a book. Place the Book of Seals here? Yes. Left four... I'm... <laughs> right four, up two, left two. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two. Up two, left two, up two, right two, up one. Right two, up one, right... Left two, up one, left three. I apparently do not know my directions. Down one, left three, up one, left three. Down one, right one, down two, left two, down three. Oh, now it's getting complicated. Right one, down one, Right two, up one... Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go down here. Now, okay, right two, up one. Right one, up one. Right two. So, two, one, 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 two. Two, one, 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 two. You have done well to make it so far. I acknowledge your courage and offer you this. And we get the fairy powder. It removes curses. Continue on without fear. Do not forget your courage. That's Link's strong suit, don't you know? And suddenly, I'm Basil Staghair. What, what? I love the switch hook, and I love how it's used so much. You brought me fairy powder! Now I can return to normal! Sprinkle the powder on me. Yeah! Thank you, young one! Now I can cleanse the seas of evil! This will make it much easier to swim, and, you know, people won't die of pollution. Whee! Let the seas be clean! Yay, the Zoras are happy! Does it really have to show it on, like, every screen, though? Oh, I ship those two Zoras together. Why can't all Great Fairies be that powerful? Most Great Fairies in the Zelda series just give you free stuff, which, don't get me wrong, is great, but, I mean, like, they could do better than that. Oh, there's a whirlpool there! Then what's the point? Also, a nice, uh, cool little trick you can do here. Well, not really. 
Not really trick, but I guess secret is a better word. We can use the Harp of Ages cleft for me. That's the probably the third time I've used that joke. Artie, you're better than this. You need new content! We can swim through here. Get ourselves a nice treasure chest. It's a rain! We've got a lot of rains, don't we? Ooh, that reminds me as well. In a linked playthrough only... Hang on. There's a secret cave that's only in a linked playthrough that actually contains a, uh, special rain. For some reason, only in a linked playthrough, though. Okay, I'm going the wrong way. I just want to take a dip in the ocean, man. It's spring break, you know? The funny thing is, when this is uploaded, I... Oh, come on! Forget this. I'm going back to the South Lina. I thought that was a shortcut, but no, it was not. Gotta find this hidden cave. I can't remember which screen it's on, but I want to say it's pretty close to Crescent Island. I also can't remember if it's in the past or the present, which is kind of a pro- There it is! Er, yeah. Oh, we can't even reach it yet. Never mind. Anyways, there's a rare rain inside that you should get. It also reminds me, I want to say there's a Gasha seed over here that I can- Nope. do 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 And no, I'm not buying anything out of the secret shop. Praise my rings. Oh, expert's ring. Punch when not equipped. <laughs> yeah, you can literally punch in this if you equip a certain ring. And this is the green holy ring. No damage from electricity. Oh, I didn't have that one? That's a common one. The Whimsical Rain. Sword damage down, but it's sometimes deadly. That's interesting. The more rings you have, the more rings you have. Alright. Let's go tell the king of the great news that we were the ones who single-handedly cleaned the ocean. Thanks to you, our seawater is clean again, and Jabu Jabu's health has returned. All is well. I never go back on my word. I dub you Zora Hero and permit you to enter just Jabu Jabu. You may go see Jabu Jabu. How grand. And for this dungeon and this dungeon only, I am equipping my sword... Uh, pfft, my sword in my B slot. Because we use the switch hook a lot in this dungeon. And most of it's underwater. Yeah, we are about to enter easily one of the hardest Zelda dungeons ever. And most annoying. You thought the Water Temple from Ocarina of Time was bad? This dungeon is basically that, only 2D and worse. It's level 7, Jabu Jabu's Belly. And we will explore his belly in the next episode! Thanks for watching, I'm Colorful Arnie, and I hope to see you then. Have a great day, and God bless.